risk or reward, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Jacked up and good to go. Alrighty. Hello everyone, I am Mr. Fulcrum, and I am the newest member of the uh, Grand Star Legion. And I'm bringing you classic games, some classic strategy, and let's see what else we can get. So, starting with Metal Fatigue. Still medium. The first Nexus subject is Diego Angelis. He was the eldest of the right. three sons of Rimtech's legendary Icarus Angelis. Driven by his strong personal ambition, devotion to Rimtech, and sense of family honor, Diego had quickly advanced through the ranks. Following the Milagro attack and the disappearance of Jonas and Stefan, the Corporal Nation Alliance began to unravel. Rimtech became concerned about other Corporal Nations encroaching on its territories. The Chief Tactical Officer, CTO Hansen, ordered all Rimtech forces to combat alert and distributed new orders for field commanders. Diego's tasks were rather simple. He was tight beamed to a different sector of Hedoff Prime to erect a base that contained a combat parts factory and assembly bay. Once okay. operational, Diego needed to construct two combats to guard the base. Yeah. Welcome to Metal Fatigue. So we are going to start the vehicle factory. Tanks on the western side, missile cars are going to be on the east. Parts factory, we're going to need that. There. This is Diego, we're going to put him down. Hey, I can see their health bars now. Nice. Nice. There we go. Battle on surface. Benefit about these buildings is that while they're building, uh, you can actually queue up units before they're yeah, finished. Okay. Gunboater is low, you'll need to build a cryo fire. Let's do it. No, no, about the blob. There we go. Vehicle complete. There we go. Get you over there. Already done so. Energy is low. I know. Last truck. 
come on. Thank you. You come over here. Well, there is another combat around here somewhere. <laughs> Anyways. Mission the next mission is relatively easy. This takes a while. Right. Combat part completed. Where? Completed. The game goes pretty crazy on mission four. Build completed. <coughs> Combat part energy no. is low. No energy is low. Yeah, it's getting rim tech stuff set up. Combat part completed. Combat group. Combat combat part completed. Right. Say hello to combats. Combat part completed. Alpha two. The alpha two. Alpha two. I literally want the same finishes. Mission log completed. Going into combat without his brothers made Diego aware of how much he had come to rely on them, particularly Jonas as his second. Without them, he felt an edge had been blunted. He pressed CTO Hansen for the best available pilot as Jonas's replacement. Responding to reports of further Milagro raids, Diego was sent to establish the defenses of a Welcome. room tech archaeology station. Its part. remote location from suitable landing Upgrades. sites made extending the defense grid to it a challenge. In Diego's favor was that he had been given the opportunity to upgrade the neural implants of his staff, and that he had been assigned one of room tech's top pilots, Isadora Toltec, as his new second in command. Okay, cool. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that's how that works. Okay, so this is how we start out this mission pre build. Energy banks full. Build completed. Uh, love. This is one of my issues is Pathfinder. I love it, Isidore is literally the only person. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And we have. Build completed. Okay. Build completed. Combat construction possible. Right. Uh, 
Uh, and we'll just get down here, because there is... <clears throat> this elevator here. Energy is low. Diego's gonna be double katana. Where is he going? Battle on surface. Good. Finding Europa is the perfect piece. See what we can cut off him this time. Right. 
run. Expected. Come on. So just kill me, please. Back on surface. Low. I'm aware energy is low. I'm trying to do something about it, and your constant reminding is not helping. Come on. So put it on Isadora because she's the one with the last mechanic. Energy is low. I'm well aware energy is low. Yeah. 
Let's get that lava. Alright. Where's that one that stole my arm? I want to take his arm as punishment. Surface. Back down, I don't care about the battle on the surface. Vehicle complete. What I care about is getting that sweet, sweet manager. Robo Taser. Let's try that, please. Alright, let's get some energy banks up. Got three e banks. Alright. Take out the Luna Bay. Combat part completed. Combat part completed. Okay. Really? Okay, so it's just gonna Time bug out. Part completed. Lava's trained. Get my let's get Alpha Two out. Crew you deploy that much more. Battle on surface. Okay. Get you over here. Battle on surface. I don't remember it being this difficult.
Alrighty. What else we got? I'm gonna make it interesting when you're talking to yourself. Find someone else to kick. Battle underground. Combat part complete. Possible. All right. Sure, that's fine. Vehicle complete. Part part completed. completed. Let's get that repaired. Back service. Vehicle complete. Hello. Underground. Again?
we need to fight. Isadora Toltec proved her worth in that first mission. She was as talented and resourceful as her reputation had indicated, but her assignment to Diego would ultimately have repercussions none could foresee. Diego's battle near the archaeology station provided evidence that Naropa was violating the Corporal Nation Alliance Agreement. However, CTO Hansen's emphatic petition to declare war on Naropa was denied. The Rimtech board insisted that all diplomatic efforts be explored first. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> The fragile coalition of the Corporal Nations was nurtured through years of considerable effort by Rimtech. In spite of repeated attempts to negotiate a settlement, the Alliance was disintegrating. Naropa's possession of superior Hedoth technology was an advantage that CTO Hansen decided to neutralize. Since Hedoth biotech rapidly degenerates when damaged, researching combat technology would have to be accomplished in the battlefield. To achieve Hansen's goals, Diego was sent to the Rimtech-owned region of the fauna world, Hedoth III. If he encountered hostile Naropa forces, oh Diego was ordered to destroy the enemy presence and research at least two of their combat parts. Also, a high-speed data probe would be passing near the sector 52 minutes after Diego's scheduled arrival. If he could complete his research in that time, the probe would relay the data sooner than would otherwise be possible. Okay, here we go. So, we have a new section, Orbit. So. We are going to start. So I want to build a vehicle factory over here. Energy banks full. Build you. completed. What did you? Completed. Assembly right here. Build, build, okay, there's so many of those. Let's get Diego up. Combat, combat, Energy is low. Combat part completed. is complete. What was the objectives again? I destroy the near open forces. Energy is down. low. Battle on surface. Need you to go down. on surface. Come on. Erg, I just want that torso to be done so we have easy door out as well. Hmm. Combat part completed. Finally. Vehicle. Okay. Yeah. That up and running. Let's keep her going. Bitter patter. Let's get at her. Surface. I'll take that out, please. Where? Are 
battle on surface. Come on. Battle on surface. Oh boy. Here you can find an aerobic pom pod to take on. Vehicle complete. Go get that lob. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. Well, that's not true. Got a worm on surface. On the combat. Please. Battle on surface. Perfect. These are extremely useful. Vehicle complete. Come on. Well, These will get me extra meta jewels. On surface. Right. Hmm. Vehicle complete. Battle on surface. All right, more forces to kill. Build completed. Over here. Build completed. Alright. Fence relay this. Build vehicle. Complete. Build Battle completed. on surface. Battle on surface. Oh, 
ein. Manpower exhausted. Uh, okay. Battle on surface. Uh. Combat part completed. Build completed. Come on. Straight down. Sometimes I gotta teach you this lesson. Vehicle complete. Build completed. Okay. Battle underground. Vehicle complete. 
energy banks full. Go. Battle on surface. Battle underground. <laughs> Battle in orbit. Battle underground. Underground? Battle on surface. Completed. 
build possible. Look here and put Battle Underground. Get that built up. Alright. Underground. Really over here. That belt. Oh boy. Energy banks full. And power exhaust. Oh, we can't have that. Underground you go. Time 
Really have to do two more crews. Battle in orbit. Vehicle complete. What? Really? Hold on. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. Get you up. Combat is in orbit. Vehicle complete. Ah, oh boy. Vehicle complete. What? Vehicle complete. Right here, if you Battle have to. In orbit. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. Vehicle Wait, what complete. What the crap? So, solar panel right there. Battle in orbit. Look, we found the base. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. Okay, let's battle in order. Build complete. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. Energy tanks full. Battle in orbit. Launch. Come on. Vehicle complete. Vehicle complete. Okay. Vehicle. Battle in orbit. Combat part completed. Let's try it right here. Commander, surrender. Oh! There we go. Vehicle, vehicle complete. In the face of recent setbacks, Rimtech welcomed the successes of the Diego Isadora team, and both received promotions and commendations for their exemplary work. Excellent. Battles were erupting throughout the system, and the Rimtech board reluctantly agreed to CTO Hansen's latest petition. The last vestiges of the Corporal Nation Alliance evaporated, and all-out war began among the three Corporal Nations. Now this... In a war fought over possession okay, of Hedoth so. technology, Hedoth ruins and artifacts were constantly sought. As we know, Hedoth 2 was an artificial planet containing many Hedoth structures, and Gamma Sector was particularly rich with these enhancers. Nope. All three corporal nations vied for this sector, and... but total domination was elusive. Rimtech put many survey teams into Gamma Sector, one of which discovered a functioning Hedoth structure. But before it could be studied, Milagro established a new base nearby and expelled the survey team. Due to his prior experience, Diego was assigned to secure the heat right. structure and eliminate the enemy presence. Anyways, that is going to be it for today. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you for the next Metal Fatigue video. I'm Mr. Fulcrum, and as always, have fun and leave behind sadness. <laughs>